Hey everyone, so for this week's lesson, Mrs. Mitchell and I were hoping you wouldn't mind seeing our faces. It's been such a long time. We certainly miss yours. And um, obviously we're not going to be back in the classroom the rest of the year, so we hope to put together a few more of these. As you've seen when you open this up, this lesson and activity is based on the board game Sorry, which you may have played before, but it's Sorry with a fitness twist. And we're going to go through um, the exercises just so you know exactly what to do um, and, and just kind of review some form as we would normally do in the gym class. And at the end, I'll go over the board game itself and how we have the fitness twist and how that all works into the game. So uh, it's about 10 minutes long, but uh, hey, um, we miss you and um, hope you enjoy this lesson. Right, Mrs. Mitchell? Hi, East Coventry. Like Mr. Mitchell said, we miss you guys so much, and we can't wait till we be back in the gym and out on the fields teaching you in person. Um, but until then, stay tuned. We got a really fun family fitness activity for you to work on throughout the week, and let us know how it goes. Oh, you got that right, Mrs. Mitchell. So today, we're going to introduce our first family game slash fitness week to all of you, and it all centers around the game called Sorry. Did you ever play that as a kid, Mrs. Mitchell? Yes, Mr. Mitchell, I have played the game Sorry, but not the version that is as fun as the fitness version of Sorry, and I just can't wait to teach it to everybody. How about you, Mr. Mitchell? <laughs> That's awesome, Mrs. Mitchell, and yes, you wisecrackers, that game was around when I was a kid. So um, anyway, before we get started, how about, Mrs. Mitchell, how about we demo some of the exercises for the kids uh, that they're going to have to do um, if they roll the right number? Sounds good, Mr. Mitchell. And remember, after somebody rolls a one and they move their game piece, they're going to have to hold a plank for 20 seconds, and I'll be right back with what that looks like. All right, guys. So whether you pick a high plank or a low plank, it is your choice. And remember, everything is challenged by choice. So if you have to touch down on your knees for a little bit of a breather, that's totally fine. When you get into a high plank, remember you don't want to sag your belly down to the ground. You want to engage that core. Keep your chin out nice and proud. If you get tired, touch down, take a breath, bring your knees back up. Low planks, get down on your elbows, same thing. Keep that core engaged, belly off the ground, and no bottom sticking up in the air. See if you can hold it for the full 20. If you can only get 10 to 15, it's also a success. Thanks. So next, if a three is rolled, the exercise is curl ups. So I'm fortunate enough to have some kids of my own here at home helping me. Hey Noah, how about you uh, help us demonstrate a couple of curl ups, you mind? Nope. All right, so see how Noah's feet are flat on the floor and his back is flat and he's got his hands gonna cross them across his chest. I want you to come up and bring your elbows to your knees just a couple of times. Go ahead up and back down and up and back down. Good job, take a break. And if some of you might be a little more comfortable with your legs straight, it's a little harder, a little bit more of a challenge. But again, with your arms around your uh, chest, when you're ready, go ahead up and back down. And he's sitting all the way up and back down. Good job, bud. Hey, great work, guys. So if a four is rolled, you're going to jog in place for 20 seconds again. If the, your heart rate spikes too fast, you can even march for 20 seconds. And if you want an added challenge, see how high you can get your knees off the ground. Great work. All right, guys. So if you roll a seven, here's what your squat should look like. You're going to sit down like you're sitting in a chair. Engage those quads. Remember to keep your knees in line with your big toes for safety. And come back up. Whether you have your arms up in the air or down by your side, the important part is to engage those quads. See if you can get about 10 in a row. Nice job. Great job, Mrs. Mitchell. And yes, that was awesome, okay? Very good. And so yes, there are just two more exercises to do. So if you're rolling 11, I want you to do, we're gonna have you do push-ups. So you have, remember your, your standard push-up with your hands right under your shoulders, your body nice and straight, okay? You're gonna come down, keep your body straight, press back up. Breathe in on the way down, blow out on the way up. Or just drop your knees and you can go to modified push-ups, same movement. Chest to the ground, and up, chest, and up. Good. And so yes, when you get a piece to your home, you're gonna do some jumping jacks. Your standard, out and together, out and together, jumping jacks with the required number. Good job. And so any other numbers you roll, you simply move forward that number of spaces. 
And you can split those numbers up, of course. So if you have um, game pieces out on the board, so they're out of the start position, you can, if you get a seven and you want to move one piece, one piece five and one piece two, if that works for you, that's absolutely fine. Um, are we ready to take a quick look at the game, Mrs. Mitchell? So are you ready, Mr. Mitchell? How about we look at the game board now? So absolutely, before we get started, we just want to explain that we know there are many challenges in, in some of our homes, like whether it be printers or don't have the right equipment, um, um, you know, can't find penny, can't find coins, whatever it is. Um, we want you to do your best just to relax and do what you can do to modify it for works best for you at home. You maybe have to bring in an adult or bring in an older sibling to help you think of some ideas, but overall, we want this to be fun. We want you to have some fitness and get some fitness, but we want this to be fun as well, a fun family experience. So do your best to do that. Um, just do your best, as we always ask. Just do your best to make it fun. And remember guys, like we always say, we believe in challenge by choice. You do you. If you need to cut back on some of the reps or the intensity, that is fine. Any movement is good movement. We're super proud of you. Uh, just keep going with everything in this strange situation. Stay positive and we cannot wait to see you guys next season. Bye. Okay, so now for gameplay. The game, sorry. So I've included a sorry board for you to print out. Now before we go any further, if you have trouble with printing, maybe you can't print, um, I do have another option for you, so please don't get excited. I've got a, I've got a hand-drawn one up, made up, just so you can see an example of that. And um, I also have a, a larger version of the rules, the how to play, because the ones on this game board is really small. So if you use this one, that's great, all right? All the directions are right in the middle. I'm not gonna bore you with all those details. Uh, it says what to do right in the middle, so on, on how to play. Uh, I came up with four different types of um, coins. So I came up with quarters, nickels, dimes, and pennies to use as game pieces. Of course, they would start in the start area. Um, if you can't find the cones, you can use anything that is small enough. You can use a little, I don't know, uh, you can use seeds of something. You can use little p colored pieces of paper. Um, whatever you want, you know, it, it can be anything that represents a game piece, all right? So that's if you're fortunate enough to be able to print out the document that I sent you, all right? I also took the time, so I'm a little sideways here because of the shadows, I took the time to hand draw out a sorry board uh, just to show you an example. Now, I use Sharpie, but you might, if you don't have different colored Sharpies, maybe you're going to use uh, different colored pencils or different colored crayons. Um, even if you just write different colors, if you don't have various colors, uh, you just have to know which is your home and which is your start. Of course, which is your game piece. Um, so you can be creative with that. Notice again, my lines aren't perfect. It's hand drawn. Um, and I didn't write those tiny directions in the middle. I, I gave you a copy of that and I'm gonna show you that in a minute or a second. But um, uh, again, you can get creative with this and, and take your time to make your own board if you want to play into a family fun night with your family, of course. And then last, so let so lastly, as I began to say uh, when I got cut off, is that here are the rules and how to play. I'm not going to bore you, read them line by line, but everything is there, what you need to know, what to do and how to do it, and when to do it. Remember, not every die or, or combination of dice numbers, so if you roll a, a a seven, you might have to do an exercise. But if you roll eight or nine, there's not an exercise. You just move those pieces. So um, not every roll of the dice has a um, has an exercise to it. Speaking of roll of the dice, if you can't find a pair of dice, maybe somebody being like, where are we gonna find that? So anyway, I did leave a link for a dice roller. It's on the rules that are on uh, your device, or it's also down on the bottom of the game. Sorry about the shadows again. Um, but there's a dice roller link. You can look up on your own. There's plenty of them on there. But you can have an automated dice roller sitting by on a phone, on a iPad, or whatever you have is uh, for an accessible device. So, um, hey, do your best. Uh, it might take you a few days to put it together, so uh, that could be cool. And maybe next week you get into uh, a family game night, whenever you can fit it in. Um, Introduce it to your family, get everybody involved, and do your best in this uh, crazy and different time to, um, to have some solid family time as well. Stay safe, everyone. Keep doing a great job, and uh, we'll be in touch with more lessons.